Kyle Zempel uh, from Black Earth Angling Company, and uh, I'll be tying up uh, the Wisco Cisco for you today. So I tie this on a uh, Gamakatsu B10S. I believe this is a uh, size one. For a thread, I'm using a uh, 100 GSP. First, get nice thread base down, and we're gonna go right into putting a little. A little bit of bucktail in there to lay our uh, base down. This will help uh, the materials from fouling up around the hook. Here. And I like to wrap forward over some of this bucktail to lay myself a little little area to tie my next step in here. Do a couple uh, saddle hackles here. I like to kind of match them up, pair them up, and then uh, you'll see that there's a uh, there's a bit of a bow to them, and I kind of want that uh, bending away from the center of the hook, so they're going out away from the the hook. At this point, is kind of where you can alter how how long or the size of the bait fish that you want to tie. I tend to go about three inches. Securing wraps there, and I'll add my other side. I just want to make sure these are just about the same length here, so I'll lay it on top just to kind of measure them out. Clear myself a little tie-in spot here. And then pinch nice and hard, hold those in place. And I'm just going to nip off the rest of this extra stuff. And all I'm going to do now is just kind of clean some of this up again. Go right in adding some flashaboo. Using the uh, silver holographic, I like the different little colors that you get in the holographic flashaboo. You can be pretty liberal with with the flash, and so um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tie in kind of right in the middle because I'm gonna fold this back over itself to add um, a little extra flash in there. tail all nice and flashes in there. At this point you can choose whether you want to just save the, the cleaning up till the end. I like to do it kind of right away. So oftentimes I'll forget to do it and I'll end up in my box all crazy. Next we're going to use a little UV polar chenille. This is a silver UV. It's usually about a six, seven inch piece that I like to use. It will kind of do the trick for you. Gonna tie that in at the tip here. A nice wraps wrapping forward over that to secure it down, and then we're just gonna wrap our thread all the way up. So there's about just over just under a half inch left where they will build the head of the fly. And then all we're gonna do is just palmer this forward. And each time I come around and I and I pass over, I'm gonna sweep everything back, clear it out of the way, so that those fibers don't get wrapped under. Just gonna wrap up to where we left our thread, and that'll be our tie-in point. We have three wraps, and then pull that tag in back and wrap in front of it to lock it in, and snip off what tag you have left. I'll add in a little a little shad gray bucktail, and. This is about probably about a pencil's width bucktail, and this is a this is a nice long bucktail. I like to use a longer longer fibers for this part. Um, I want it to stretch almost all the way to the tail, leaving it just a little short, so it all blends together nicely, building a good profile. And I'll pick out some of that under under fur there, and those short little hairs that are in there, because I don't need those. I'm just going to measure it so that it's, let's say, going at three quarters of the way down the down the minnow here, and then I'll just 
make a nice angle cut on that and keep it nice and pinched tight just like you do a, a clouser head. And holding that so it stays right on top of the hook. Loose wrap followed by a couple nice tight ones. Make sure that's really locked in there. And we're just going to wrap over those those ends there. And I like to kind of take my thumb and push down on top and uh, make sure that those fibers are evenly distributed on top of the hook. Then we're going to move into building our, our head. So first I'll go with a little bit of a ice stub. I think it's middle body. It's the color here. It's a nice iridescent uh, white color, like a good underbody for, um, for the bait fish here. So I'm going to tie that in right in the middle of where I'm holding it here. And it's important that this stays on the bottom, so I'll make my first wrap just to kind of secure it down there, and then I'm going to position it where I want it. And, really want to make sure that that stays on the bottom side of the hook and then I'll pinch tight there and give a couple nice tight wraps just to make sure that stays in place. I'm going to go right on top of the hook now with some uh, some silver minnow belly laser dub. If you want a real big bulky head, you're gonna you're gonna use a pretty good sized chunk. Um, nice thing is we're gonna do kind of this this the same step twice to to build into a head instead of doing it all at once. That'll help from my material spinning around the hook. Same thing we do with the the eye step on the bottom, right in the middle, pinching everything nice and tight so it stays in place, and some nice tight wraps to make sure that that's not spinning around the hook. What I'm going to do is kind of take these two, these two uh, tag ends here, we're just going to fold them back, sweep them back, and get a couple nice wraps, nice and tight in here to lock all that in place, kind of wrapping back towards our tie-in point. At this point we're going to add just a little bit of red laser dub to add a little gill in there. And this little section here, or this little part here is kind of a less is more. So a little goes a long ways here. We're just adding just a little highlight color. If you put too much, you'll end up with a, a red-sided bait fish. And if you're going for that, then great. But I just want it to be gills here. So I'm just going to do one on each side here, tying in the middle. And again, just the smallest little pinch of it will go a long ways. Pinching that against the side, we're going to tie, secure this to the side of the hook, not the bottom or the top necessarily. Two wraps, then we're just going to, like we did with the, uh, the other dubbings, is fold it back over itself. We're just going to wrap back to secure that in. And then we'll make sure that that won't pull out um, after catching a few fish. Now we're just going to kind of repeat the previous step of uh, ice dub on the bottom and laser dub on top. Place that on the bottom. Make that one wrap to just hold it in place and then I want to position it, make sure it's staying on the bottom, pinch, and come around and secure that in there nicely. Now we'll go with our Silver Minnow, minnow Belly uh, Laser Dub on top to tie in the first quarter of this dubbing so that we have more of the tips kind of facing out towards the front of the hook so that will get swept back over. Again, pinch everything nice and tight and make some nice secure wraps in there. It's pretty easy to crowd the head on this and one thing you can do is kind of take your thumbnail and just push back on this a little bit to make sure everything's nice and packed in there and you should be able to get some nice wraps in there to kind of lock everything in again. And I'll put in a couple couple wraps here just to really create a little thread dam here. Give myself a little room for a whip finish. Which I'll go right in.
into here. Nice and tight. Nip it off. And I'm going to take my dubbing brush here and I'm just going to kind of give this thing a nice comb over. And I'll blend our two different um, two different sections we tied in together. Make it one. Some of that hair out. Same thing on the bottom, flip it over. Same sort of thing, blend all that stuff together nicely. I like to use a little gel control uh, super glue. It really helps kind of allow you to put a little dab of glue on there and add the eyes without it all kind of seeping into uh, the materials. Push down on there for a moment to let it set. And usually at the front here you have a little gap where you can see a little thread. That's usually where I like to put that dab of, of glue to kind of cover that up. Just set that eye on there and then use a bodkin or the back of a whip finish tool to, to press it on. Keep it from sticking to my finger. should do it right there, the Wisco Cisco. Alright, so the Wisco Cisco is, uh, is a bait fish pattern I like to use um, anytime I really want to fish subsurface at kind of that middle column of the water. Um, I don't add any weight to this. Uh, the laser dub uh, on the head here will absorb water and uh, really help it get down. And um, so it'll fish, you know, in that, in that middle column. It's not going to plummet to the bottom. It's going to uh, to ride nice and, and have that hanging effect where you can give it a strip and it's just going to kind of hang and dart and, and delay there, and uh, works pretty well for for catching smallmouth in that middle column most definitely.